Hi all, welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing a short tutorial to teach you how to use TensorFlow.js converter to convert your TensorFlow and Keras model into the JavaScript format. So for this tutorial, I'll be using the acronym JS to represent JavaScript. Okay, so the question is, why do you need to convert your train model into a JS format? So as you know, uh, there are many people out there using mobile phone as their daily driver. So in order to reach to that audience, you will deploy your model either as a website or as a mobile app so that people can access them readily. So for this, I actually did a video tutorial on how to deploy a JS model on both a website and React Native before. So I'll point you to the link down in the description box below. So do check them out. Okay, so there are actually three ways to use the TensorFlow.js converter. For myself, I recommend you to use the TensorFlow.js converter wizard. Firstly, because it's the most updated one with the most comprehensive features. So this allows you to convert most of the models into JS format. And next, it has an interactive guide. So it will guide you through the conversion process step by step. And lastly, there's no coding required. So you don't need to know Python in order to use this conversion. But nevertheless, I will guide you through the three methods and further elaborate on the third one. Okay, so the first method is through Python. So as usual, you will import the TensorFlow.js library and call the function when you want to do the conversion. So for this case, you will call the TFGS converter save Keras model. So you, the first parameter, you need to pass in your train model. And the second parameter, you need to pass in the path you want to save it in. So by doing so, you will automatically convert your train model from Keras format to JS format. So one drawback of this method is that this function is not well documented. So if you want to convert other formats like TensorFlow format or TensorFlow hub format, you need to read through the code and find the functions yourself. Okay, so next you can use the TensorFlow.js converter. So for this method, it's actually quite well documented, just that it's a bit complicated to use if you do not know TensorFlow well. Allow me to point you to the website for documentation. It's over here. Okay, so once you open up the website, it will show you that it can, you can use this method to convert five types of formats over here. However, the complicated part comes in for the parameters to pass in. So you can refer to here. Here are the position arguments, which is the input file and the output file. And next, there are a lot of options here. Okay, so this will be very complicated for people that are not well versed with TensorFlow. So I do not recommend this method unless you know TensorFlow well. Okay, so this leaves us with the last method, which is the TensorFlow.js converter wizard. So for this method, it's very, very simple. Okay, so you just need to know your input file path and your output file path. And more or less, everything is by default. So this will guide you through the step-by-step -step process on how to convert your TensorFlow or Keras model into a JS format. Okay, so by using the wizard format, I will convert three types of model. First is a TensorFlow safe model. Next is a TensorFlow hub model. And lastly, it's a Keras model. So in order for you to follow on with this tutorial, make sure you have these prerequisites installed. First, you should have Python 3 and Anaconda prompt installed. And next, you need to install these three packages in order to use the wizard. So here is the command for the pip install. Okay, so without further ado, let's convert the TensorFlow safe model first over here. So the format is as such. So when you open up the save model file, you'll see assets, variables, and save model.pb. So in order to convert this, it's very simple. You just go to your Anaconda prompt. So for myself, I'm using the data science environment. You can use other environment as long as you have the relevant packages installed. So to call the wizard is very simple. You just need to key in tensorflow.js underscore wizard. Okay, so now I need to provide it with the tensorflow safe model path. So it's very simple. I just click here and copy this and paste it in. So you actually guide me through the conversion process. So then you state what kind of format it is. So it's a TensorFlow safe model. So press enter. So here there's two signatures for me to select. So I will choose the second one because it has the valid input of one of one. Unlike this, so it doesn't have input for this signature name. So I select the one with the inputs and outputs. So I press enter, no compression, enter, enter, everything set it as default, default, 
So now when you reach this part, which directory do you want to save the model in? So I will create a new folder, which is I name it as converted save model. Okay, and click it in. So I will copy this and paste it in. So I press enter. So you ask me whether I want to overwrite it. So I will say yes. So after compilation, you will see the converted model over here. So we have successfully converted our TensorFlow safe model. Okay, so next we will be converting the TensorFlow hub model into a JS format. So for this, I'll be using the ImageNet model over here. So to run the wizard again, it's very simple. You just need to call TensorFlow JS underscore wizard. Okay, so now you provide the URL for the TensorFlow hub model. So to get the URL, it's very simple. You just copy and paste this thing in. You will select the TensorFlow hub module. No compression. Default, 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 default. Okay, so we will reach the part where it states which directory you want to save it in. So now I'll be creating a new folder. I'll be saying it as converted tf hub okay after which i copy this path and paste it in yes i'm going to overwrite it okay so after conversion you'll be able to see the js format over here which is model.json okay so now we'll be converting our last model which is in keras format so very simple you just need to call the tensorflow js underscore wizard again okay so for this i'll be calling this path and key in the keras model name okay so i'll be using the h5 format so you can see that uh you actually recommend the proposed method as the first row over here so you have two options. So the first option is you can convert it as a graph model or you can convert it as a layers model. Okay, so do note after saving it as a graph model, you will not be able to train it anymore. So if you still want to train your model, make sure you select the layers model. So I'll just choose the layers model because I foresee that I'll be training my models further. Okay, so select default, default, default okay so now you'll reach this step again to key in the output file path so for this i'll be doing the converted keras model okay so i'll copy this file path and paste it in enter and press override so you can see uh, it has converted it over here as shown in this folder Okay, so with this, I've come to the end of my tutorial. So if you are interested to know how to deploy your model on your website or on React Native, do check my tutorial down in the description box below. And if you like my video, do remember to like, share and subscribe. Thank you for your time.